right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have One Republic here, and the relatively new song called Someday. And uh, someday when we're older, we'll be shining like we're gold. Sounds great, huh? Yeah, so let's start with this song. We don't need any capo for this one, and we have four chords. So uh, the chords will be first A minor, so uh, open A. 2nd D, 2nd G, 1st B, and open E. A minor, then we move on to F here, so you need to bar all strings here on the 1st fret, and the rest will be 3rd on A, 3rd on D, and 2nd on G. We have C here next, so that will be 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. And finally G, so 3rd on E string, 2nd on A, open D string, open G, 3rd B, and 3rd E. So pretty common chord combo there, and this will be for the whole song here, A minor, F, C, and G. That's the chord progression, so not much to think about that. And now we need to handle this with uh, some picking here, very easy, and uh, strumming pattern here. So. Let's start with the picking pattern. Of course, it's based upon these four chords in this order, A minor, F, C, and G. So, if we start with the A minor part, you will play this one. So, three notes there. That will be open A string, then first B string, and second D string. And for all this um, picking here, uh, I like to grab uh, the actual full chord, if, uh, even if it's not necessary, because we don't use all strings here. But uh, just, yeah, I feel comfortable to, to grab the full chord here, so that's just me. But that's what you need to uh, use here for this A minor picking part. Open A, first B, and second D. We'll play that for two times, so. Okay, so next will be the F part. Here, you will use the first fret on the E string, then the first fret on the B string, and the third fret on the D string. And you play that for two times as well. So, all right, so the next chord will be C, so um, let's play like that, so you need to play third here on the A string, then open E string, and open G string, two times, so. And the final part will be the G chord here. And here I actually just hold the third here on the E string. That's what I do when I play this picking here. So you play third on E string. So third on E string, open B string, and open D string. Yeah, so together, slower, it will sound like this. I slipped there on one string there in the, in the last chord, the G here, but I think you get the idea here. So, when we're playing the picking and even the strumming, it will be two times for each chord there. So, for this um, first verse, we will play that for four rounds of this picking here. So, four rounds of... So, that's one round times four, and that gives us the first verse. Then we move on here to the chorus, 
and you can choose here to still play this melody here for four rounds that will cover the whole chorus in the same way as we played the verse but you can also choose to play the strumming which i prefer in this uh, song here to get the variation but also to get the more up tempo uh, feeling for this song so the strumming will be down down up up down 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 up up down so if we illustrate that with a minor that's the first chord it would be like this two times and then f the same and then c and g two times as well so down down up up down 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 up up down 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 up up down 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 up down okay so that will be the course and just to point out here in the last round the last chord there uh, the g uh, you won't play the g there because it ends with c uh, and then where you should play the g that's just um, an instrumental part with the vocal uh, in the lyrics it's that's someday will be all that we need so that the part there on someday uh, you should play G if, 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 if we're in the original strumming uh, or standard normal strumming pattern here. But you skip that G, the last G in the fourth round, and it's just the vocal part there. So right after these four rounds comes an ending kind of uh, for the chorus, uh, which will be uh, instrumental parts. And it will include two rounds as well with the same chords here, the A minor, uh, F, C, and G. So in total, with um, the chorus and the kind of post chorus, it will be six rounds of this strumming here. Okay, so that uh, brings us to the second verse. And it will be same played in the same way, kind of. It will be still four rounds of the same chords. Uh, and uh, yeah. Everything is the same, but for the first two chords there in the first round, the A minor and F, you will only hit one down. And then comes strumming. So um, you will not play the melody here like we played in the verse, first verse. You will play the strumming. So it continues from the chorus there. So first two chords, A minor, F, just one down. And then starts the strumming on the on the C. And then it continues for four, three more rounds. But on the last round, so um, on the fourth round, kind of, uh, it will be as well only one down for each quarter. So that's how you play the second verse. So to just uh, repeat that, we have the first two chords in the first round, A minor and F. You play only one down. And then on the C in the first round, you start to strum there. And you finish that first round and you play the strumming for round two and round three. And on the fourth round, you only play one down for each chord. Yeah. And that brings us to the next chorus there, the second chorus. And it's played in the same way as the previous chorus there. Four rounds of the strumming there. And after that, we have an outro. Okay, so that's the final part of the song. Uh, it's also play there uh, for two rounds, but here you will only play one down for each chord there. And on the last chord there, in the second and final round, you don't play that, uh, that chord. It should be a G, 
but it just ends on C and the vocal part. And that is how this cool and, uh, and uplifting free song ends. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And if, if it was helpful, please let me know. Please thumb up. Uh, helps me a lot with the algorithm and all that good stuff. So I appreciate your help here with this channel. And yeah, see you soon. Don't forget to play tune.